If you add one blog post on your blog, you are going to make per month zero dollars. But then if you have 10 blog posts on that blog, you are going to make per month zero dollars because you are going to be in the category of bloggers that are underperforming. But what happens is when you have 50 blog posts, then you are going to make per month between five dollars and one thousand seven hundred dollars. There are reasons for this. I'm going to show you that in this blog masterclass. But then you can go ahead and make hundred blogs. What happens when you have 100 blogs on your website then you would make a month between 300 dollars if you're on the lower end and you can rise as much as making four thousand dollars every single month if you have 100 posts now if you want to go overboard what happens when you have 500 blog posts on your website on the lower end you're going to make between two thousand five hundred dollars and thirteen thousand dollars every single month on that singular blog website this is a blogging masterclass get a glass of wine and writing material for this tutorial as I'm going to shred everything to you that has to do with blogging let's call this the A to Z blogging for beginners let's go into details but wait I have a timestamp in the description where it will let you jump to categories that you want and headlines that I treated in this tutorial please use the timestamp if you are in a hurry but if you want to learn everything as a beginner stay with me let me explain everything to you and show you how you will start and kick off now is a blog the same thing as a website or is there a difference? The short answer is no there is no difference. A website can abort a blog. Let me show you. If you go over to 247cashdollars.com and then you can go over there and you would see the blog icon. This on its own from the home page is a website. But then when you go over to click on the blog section, then you enter the blog section. What is a blog? A blog is a discussion of information a website published on a worldwide web consisting of discrete and informal diaries type of text entries arranged for you to so what this means is it doesn't have to be formal it's not a school you can just write what you feel about a particular topic that is what blogging is all about so the only real difference between a blog and a website is a blog is all about information that you can update every time by adding more information but a website is static your address your contact us page the services you render is almost the same thing year in year out now for your information there are two types of website or blog there are paid types and there are free types. what are the free types these are are the free types that are made available to the public for use by service providers for example you have blogger.com you have blogspot.com you also have googlesites.com and some service providers they also have the versions that are free for beginners like wiz.com wordpress.com all of these websites are free you don't need to pay anything you can register now sign up now and start using them to publish your articles or videos for the whole world to see now there are also some third party providers that also allow you to blog using their platforms an example of that is medium.com that allows you as a blogger or an article writer to write on its platform and you can even get paid each time someone reads your article from that their platform it's free to join you have places like Quora which is a forum that also allows you just like there is also a forum on 247 cash dollars for African giants which you can use as well and use as your blog writing articles where people can see but like I said there are also the paid blogs which means you have to pay for a domain name you have to also pay for a hosting plan and also design these plans to make it look like the regular websites that we see I'm going to go into detail of this later in this video let's just continue but there is a massive difference between the paid versions of websites and the free versions of websites if you are on the free version you will not have access to personalized statistics and ranking metrics for example your backlinks it has nothing to do with you if you are using the free versions domain authority you don't have domain authority on free websites and I can tell you that to get into the nitty-gritty of these I will make a dedicated tutorial to it for those who wants to know so that you will know if you are wasting your time using the free or if it is something you should be using especially if you don't have money I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel and like this video so that you will not miss it when I produce that content but then my recommendation straight away is don't waste your time writing on this free website on a long journey you are not going to profit from it stop wasting your time writing in these platforms that are free now what are you expected to do as a blogger on your website there are a few things you have to do if you are taking this route one is you have to be able to update every time frequently
currently articles on your blog that is the number one thing you have to do you have to create content which is articles on that your blog secondly is you are in charge of monetizing this blog so that you can raise money from the information on this blog third is optimization remember you have to rank so that you can get traffic to this blog the ranking is also on you as a blogger to optimize your blog post all of this i would show to you how it's going to be done now that we know that there are free and paid blog sites how about the type of blogs there are different types of blogs all blogs are not the same let me show you some there are food blogs where the only thing you do on that blog is talk about food there are pet blogs when all you do is talk about your dog or dog food or where dogs should live or how to take care of your dog there are health and fitness blog where you talk about how to be healthy how to do exercises fitnesses those are types of blog a lot of people make this error of opening up their blog and talking about any random thing they like you are not going to rank there will be no authority on your part don't do that make sure you choose a particular thing that you have interest in and go into it there are photographic blogs there are lifestyle blogs there are diy blogs a lot of it don't worry i'm going to show to you over four thousand types of these types of blogs that you can go through and see if it is comfortable and see the best option you have before you jump into these but this takes me to the next question what would i be writing about i can tell you that this is the very first thing you have to do if you want to go into blogging you need to know the niche you are going into you need to be specific like i told you the different types of blog you have to be able to streamline to a particular thing that you want to do this brings me to niching and categorization think about this like a university when you enter the university you are going to say i want to be a medical doctor then you are going to target medicine that's it you don't study physical education or you don't talk about physical education when you are going into medicine and if you're going into engineering you don't talk about home economics you see how this is niched down so that's exactly what you're going to do on your blog post by niching down to the exact thing you want to talk about and that's the only thing you're going to talk about on that blog so now let me talk about this because i know most people are going to go into blogging because of the monetary gains that they are going to get from it so before you choose a niche let me show to you how you can check what the pricing of a particular niche is head over to google.com slash adsense and if you get there you can scroll down the page and then you're going to see how much you could earn from adsense from here you are going to go to region and then you click on any region you want click on the uh, category you want and then click on calculate to see how much you can earn in your category so don't just jump on it and say oh i want to do into this ensure that what you're jumping into which is your career or what your interest is ensure it is profitable if you are going into it because of money but if you are going to it because of your motivation and what you love then either it brings you money or not you might have to go through it that way and now let me set you the recommendations based on the monetary financial gains and also traffic my own top seven niches that you can go into number one is personal finance when you talk about money investment and all that is the most rewarding niche that you can jump into online number two is education number three is food number four is business and marketing number five travel number six is parenting and number seven is diy now i recommended that but then if you want the list of the four thousand niches that you can jump into and look at the varieties go to 247 cash dollars and i will leave the link to the blog in the description below so you can click and even download it for free and see what you can get into so now how do you start blogging if you are already juiced up and you want to keep this going the first thing you have to do is to choose a domain name and buy a hosting so that both can put you online for people to read your blog now let's take a look at more information because when i say domain name what does a domain name mean a domain name is your website name it's like a signboard that points people in to your website more like your own name so if you have a brand or you have a brand name in mind you can name your domain name your brand name but make sure it represents the niche you are going into so you can't say something like computerstudies.com and then you talk about how to feed a dog on computerstudies.com you can see the imbalance so choose a name that will resonate with the niche that you are in and now what's a hosting plan what a hosting plan means as a beginner is every time you type something on your laptop that information is on your laptop but i cannot assess it remember when you give that same information on your laptop and you store it online via an hosting plan that's why people can use the domain name which is your www.anything to access that file that you wrote in the comfort of your room i hope this is clear because there are lots of companies that offers you this opportunity to host whatever you have on your laptop online either video or audio or even blogs but to make this easy 
for you in purchasing your domain name and hosting and linking everything together i have created these on 247 cash dollars go to the shop section and then all you need to do is from a click you can purchase both your domain name and everything together once and we will be there to help you by holding your hand to helping you figure this out and we do it for you without an additional cost just go to the shop section and place your order to buy this immediately now we have few more things to touch before i let you go there are five things i have grouped if you want to be successful as a blogger five things you have to concentrate on and let me spill the bean for you the very first one is blog writing or article writing remember as a blogger the main job you have is to write articles on this your blog post and you have to learn some things in order to get this done you need to learn three things here and please i will identify these and leave the backup tutorials for each of them so that you can learn them more the first one is you have to learn how to write articles second one is you need to learn how to write headlines your headlines are your topics and it has to drive traffic to you and third you need to be able to write your blog intro intros or introduction is what makes people continue to read your blog as soon as they jump on it number two is ranking which is actually even more important than writing your blog post because if you write on a dead title then nobody's going to see your articles but if you write on a keyword that is so good a lot of people will see you via those good titles that you have written so under the category of ranking you have to learn keyword research to be able to get the most profitable keywords for your blog you also need to learn how to search what your competitors are ranking for and how to outrank them just as well you have to learn basic seos on page seo off page seo all of these search engine optimization metrics you need to learn and know how it works which takes me to the third which is traffic don't forget that the number of traffic you have is the reason why you're going to make money if you don't have traffic you don't make money if you have more traffic you make more money so now when you're starting you have to learn how to bring in traffic to your blog before you start having organic traffic and from there you need to know how to build email list because that's what makes you sell your affiliate you see how this is panning up and third on the traffic is you need to know how to use social media pinterest facebook forums like Quora.com, reddit.com all of these platforms you need to learn how to use them to drive traffic to your blog number four is the one i always enjoy which is monetization at the end of the day all these jobs that we are doing is to make money so let me tell you how you're going to make money from your blog number one which is the most popular way is to use ads on your blog when you allow for advertisements on your blog you make a lot of money from that google ads ezoic ad tribe there are lots of companies that offer these services all you just have to do is after you build your website and you put your content on it then you leave it out for them to put ads and that makes you money that's the first one number two is through affiliate marketing when you write about a particular topic there are going to be products that can naturally be sold in between that topic for you to make money so what do you do when you write your article you put in your affiliate links in between your articles organically not like you are going to stuff it there and with that people that are reading for example somebody is reading about how to feed your cat and then you can put the link to the plate that the cat will use it's just a natural occurrence if i'm looking to feed my cat well then i can as well buy a new plate that the cat will use as soon as that reader buys from that your link you get commissioned and that is affiliate marketing and number three is you can sell your own products as you grow on the business you will know that a lot of people need this type of thing you can create an info product on that you can actually even create a physical product on that and start selling and that makes you massive money just as you can create courses which is the number four of monetization you can create courses to sell just like i have a course on blogging which is a master class on blogging and by the way if you want to join my master class on blogging go to the comment section and say add me to the blogging master class and then i will take it up from there so that you can join the blogging master class number five way of monetizing is that you get brand deals people that are selling products will reach out to you to make articles for them to write content for them sometimes to even make videos for them so that they will have more clients via your content production and they will pay you before you do that it's a lot of money to be made on the internet you just jump into blogging and that will make the difference number six is sponsored posts there is what is called backlinks online that validates the other website's authority and if you keep writing and you have domain authority that is high then you can always even sell your backlinks to others to make Make money it's a lot of things you can sell posts sponsor posts you can be an article writer for some other website these are ways you can make money by starting your blog today now let me address the issues that are the most overlooked and what most people ask about when it comes to blogging how frequently should i post an article on my blog to be very frank with you if you want to make this a source of income then you have to post minimally once per week but if you really want to take it up notch then post one per day that will let you ramp up the equivalent articles you need so that you can make money quickly 
directly on your blog and just like i told you in the introduction of this tutorial how much money can i make on my articles the figures i told you are valid but there are five things that will let you make low or make you average or make you high five things number one is your niche just like i showed to you the niche you are in will determine how much money you make from the exact traffic and number two is the ability to do keyword research if you can do a very solid keyword research for your blog post then you are going to rank in a lot of keywords and that will bring you massive traffic which will in turn means making more money so you have to invest some time in learning how to research keywords for your blog titles number three elements that causes how much you make is the quality of your traffic remember if your traffic is quality and the volume is high then you are going to sell more affiliate links you sell more info products you will also make more money from advertisement and then all together your blog becomes more valuable but then if your traffic is not huge and your traffic is not valuable then you are going to make less that's why i ranged the money you can make from low to average and to high and number four is the quality of your content a lot of people are not going to know how to write good quality articles as soon as people jump into your article they feel bad maybe they are grammatical errors or they are not well structured or you are not writing optimized articles they come in and come out so someone who just sees your article for 15 seconds and leaves cannot buy anything cannot see any ads and that's a major problem but when you write high quality content that people are consuming then absolutely that will make them go from one page to the other and you're going to make more money because you know how to write articles number five that can cause you to make more money or make less is your blog expansion possibilities remember if you are talking about let's say basketball on your own blog you can hardly go outside basketball unless you want to do something different but then if you have a food blog and you are talking about vegans then you can be able to expand to a lot of things you can include baking even as much as you include maybe solid food you can do soups so you can do a lot of recipes that means you have a high rate of expansion because at some point you're going to finish writing some articles and then you don't have what more to write but then if you don't have the expansion rule to reduce how far you can go and how many people you can target and that's also a reason why you can make lower money or higher money so to recap the amount of money you can make if you have 50 posts on your article you can make between on the low end four dollars per month to the middle four hundred dollars per month to the high you can make as much as one thousand seven hundred per month if you have 50 articles now if you have 100 articles on your blog post you can make between the lowest three hundred dollars per month to the middle two thousand three hundred dollars per month and then to the high end you can make four thousand dollars every single month so you see the amount of good articles you have determine the amount of money you can make now you see how much profit can be made from a blog and we are not even talking of the other means of monetization that will still make you massive money as well the question is will it be easy to write a hundred article post the answer is a yes and no it's not going to be that easy but if you can write if you can learn then you can do this but then if you cannot write and you really want to make money from this there is a way you can freelance this out to make a lot of money easily the only thing is you have to invest the beginning before it starts ramping in the figures that you desire go over to 247 cashdollars.com go to the shop section and then you would see there how you can order articles for cheap and have high quality articles for you to put on your blog post if you want to do this using freelancers and how much will it cost you to do this let's see it together five articles on 247 cashdollar.com will cost 25 dollars which means if you are targeting 100 articles then you will spend 2500 dollars to write 100 articles remember how much 100 articles can make per month that means you're going to profit under five six months there'll be a lot of profit if that's one thing you want to do go there now and place your order i know there are still going to be more questions that you can ask just ask your questions in the comment section and i will be there live to answer you immediately but then do you know you can do this whole process by yourself with just little guidance from me i am going to hold your hands one by one to go through these processes from how to buy your domain to how to design your website to how to host everything click this and let's go Let's go.